Hello, of course, again today with me. Um, it's been a while since I updated. I pretty much was thinking about just updating my opinions um, after the the whole um, quarter, after all the round of sixteen games were done. And my words so far, this World Cup turned out to be a very, very um, interesting one. Of course, uh, you know, some matches, pretty much I would prefer other teams to win it just because of the performance, but so far it's been very surprised. So um, we talked about uh, teams that were going through to next round, France, Argentina, Uruguay, Portugal, Spain, Russia, Croatia, Denmark, Brazil, Mexico, Belgium, Japan, Sweden, Switzerland and Colombia and England. So these were the teams that uh, were, were able to go through. And uh, of course, 30th of June, just about two, three days ago, France met Argentina. And of course, um, Argentina, well, after their, I think, narrow escape from, from group elimination, have finally pretty much lost after you know a convincing game from France um, they were leading 2-1 at some point but everything just went away when Mbappe scored two very quick goals in a matter of 10 minutes making it 4-1 sorry 4-2 and then of course Aguero made it 4-3 but it was little and too late for Argentina but it was a very good game a very entertaining game pretty much um, the game that was I think better than, you know, um, almost as good as the Spain versus Portugal in the group stage match. So on the same day, of course, later, uh, Uruguay beat Portugal. Pretty much ending the, um, what we, I mean, a lot of people were, were thought that if, you know, France, uh, if Argentina could win against France and Uruguay, Portugal could win against Uruguay, for the first time, the Fantasy World Cup, that we've all been waiting for, for the fans, which are Messi and Ronaldo competing in the World Cup uh, finals, at least in the quarterfinals, was about to be shown. But unfortunately, of course, Argentina did not perform and Portugal, surprisingly, were knocked out by Uruguay. I would say that this is not a surprise result because, you know, Portugal were not that the best team. Um, in the group stages, they were, you know, quite kind of, you know, not the best team. They were struggling against Iran, struggling against Morocco. They only really scored against the first game. And after that, pretty much everything was not just, um, it's not in terms of scoring. I mean, they just did not look team that would go all the way to the finals. And indeed, Uruguay... Um, did score and win the game and pretty much um, ending of course Messi and Ronaldo's I think I think pretty much will be their last World Cup I don't see Messi Ronaldo playing and after how many attempts you know Ronaldo has been attempting since 2006 2010 2010 sorry 2014 it's been I think around about three World Cups edition uh, Messi also, you know, three World Cups edition, 2010, 2006, 2014. I pretty much think that, you know, at this stage, um, where they are, they're already in their 30s, you know, Messi could still play if he wants, but um, no, I, I don't see them coming. I mean, this is their last chance, and I think pretty much that, you know, he did what he caught, he did what he can, and pretty much he might not be, you know, winning the World Cup. But, you know, what he has achieved is absolutely, you know, pretty much impressive and a, and a legend status for, for them. Um, and then, of course, in 1st of July, we had Spain and Russia, which I think Spain, they did not play really well. Same, same thing, you know, um, passing ball... It was a very different Spain from, from 2010 and 2014 they, they were relegated early and, and 2018 they didn't look the best team. And a lot of people were shocked when <clears throat> when Russia won the penalty shootout, um, which I think they deserve, they deserve the win because, you know, Spain did not play 
the game that we could. I mean, they were struggling. They had a lot of possession, a lot of pass, but, you know, Russia, as a home team, pretty much, you know, um, they stand still, very disciplined, and they had, uh, I think, <clears throat> a lot of, um, you know, luck in the end. But still, uh, this, the, the Russian keeper did a lot. And another game which also came out to penalties the same day, Croatia and Denmark, which I think... I didn't really see the game, but <clears throat> uh, had two very early goals. I really thought that it was just going to be an equal game, but you know, looking at how Croatia performed the whole time, the group stages match very consistent. I think they deserve to go through. Um, but still, I think uh, it, it it's it's nice to see teams like you know teams that we never thought that will go to this far in the World Cup. This is one thing about the World Cup, of course. I mean, normally at this stage of the World Cup, we're going to see big teams eliminating big teams but this time you have you know teams that have have really been um, not in the world cup ex exceeding and excelling so that's one thing i like um brazil mexico a lot of people thought that mexico might also do another uh surprise eliminating brazil but brazil have been playing so far at the par which they could win games not the best but I think um, after what happened the last World Cup, I think they really pretty much wanted to prove something. If they can go all the way to the finals, then you know what, I think Brazil might just win it. But obviously, this World Cup has nothing but surprise. So I'll be talking about the quarterfinals later on. But uh, Brazil 2-0 win was, you know, pretty much... Um, I think was coming. I think was was really a good game. And Mexico, although they went through the next round, did not have the momentum to to beat Brazil. They didn't have the the extra skill. Belgium and Japan was a game that I, at the second half, if you were on the TV, and the scoreline was Belgium nil, Japan two, which I then thought my word. If Japan had gone through, it will be a big shocker because among all the round of 16s, Belgium had the easiest chance of going through against uh, Japan. Japan, of course, the only Asian team left at the time and they had 2-0 up and Belgium just came back 3-2. And I'm not sure what happened to Japan, but after they won 2-0, they were hit. They were just... I'm not sure. I mean, they were just... Shell shocked, surprised, nervous, and Belgium, with the tactics and with their standards, made it to one, and then it was two two, and in the very last minute at the time made it three two. So, you know, um, if you're a team that has been tested after you know being two nil down, Belgium is the team, and they really worked for the goal. So Belgium, pretty much went through. Sweden and Switzerland uh, yesterday's game was, I think, kind of not the best game, but pretty much Sweden were very well disciplined and, um, you know, they had one uh, deflection goal, which I thought this game could go in penalties, but Sweden managed to hold off that 1-0. One, one and yesterday, another history, England winning on penalty shootout. Colombia, of course, England, um, first they had a penalty... Uh, Harry Kane and then Colombia equalized in the very last minute it went on to the extra time and in the penalties which everyone thought you know England with what they have actually produced in the last few World Cups thought they were going out but you know what this World Cup surprises again England are still in it they beat Colombia which I think in a very not the best game for both sides, but England had the luck to, to go through. So, um, quarterfinals. Um, 6th of July, today is 4th, so two days. Um, Uruguay meets France. Brazil meets Belgium. Sweden will meet England. And Russia will meet uh, Croatia. So only... 10 teams, sorry, only 8 teams left. We got only uh, 2 Europe, two uh, South American side and 6 European side. 
will be going on. Um, you know, in the last World Cup, um, only I think Brazil, France, Belgium, and Uruguay were the only team that has left in, at this stage. And this World Cup, it was totally a different story. Um, so far, I think Uruguay and France. Um, I'm not sure in terms of uh, predictions, but I think that, you know, France played really well against Argentina. Argentina, they did not perform the best the whole, the whole tournament, but they, in that game, they had a lift up, which in the end, they crumbled. But... Um, Uruguay also a team that you know did not play a beautiful football but consistent management pretty much the only team that have beat Russia so far I think it's going to be a very very tough game um I think Uruguay and France um you know I would love to see Uruguay go just because you know to add a little mix in this world cup uh, but I really think that France might just win it, might just edge this one. Not sure it's going to be. I think it's going to be after extra time, maybe penalties. Uh, it's not going to be a very open game. But if it's going to be an open game, I think France could just win it. Belgium and Brazil, Brazil and Belgium. Uh, Firstly, of course, I thought it was it was going to be Brazil and Japan, but it seems that uh, um, Brazil have pretty much been the better side, and of course, um, you know, winning the winning the games. Um, really thought that uh, you know if Brazil can go through, then it will be really uh, superb for the team. I just go to the matches again, knock out. All right, so uh, Brazil and Belgium. I think whoever wins this game will definitely win the tournament. If Brazil can beat Belgium, they're going to win the tournament. If Belgium can beat Brazil, they're going to beat the tournament. Because I think so far... Brazil, uh, Belgium has been super, I mean, really consistent. They have managed to come back a 2 nil down deficit. They have been really consistent in the group stages. They are the team that have everything going on for them. Not perfect, but in the World Cup standards, you might think that, you know, it could be their year. So, I have, you know, predicted since the last group stage that you know belgium will go quite far in the group so i would actually think that belgium if they can win against brazil then it's pretty much their year but i think that you know what i think belgium are going to win it and they're going to beat brazil because um you know if as I say, if Brazil can beat Belgium, they're going to win the tournament because they have beaten the best side so far. But if Belgium win it, then they're going to be going all the way. But I think Belgium are going to win it. England and Sweden, as much as England have been underperforming in the last World Cup, this World Cup seems they are luck on their side. So I'm going to say England will definitely go through uh although i'm rooting for sweden because you know i want you know them to go to go to the next round but i think you know england have been really lucky in this world cup they have played really well a different mentality so i think they're going to go through russia and croatia now this is a game that i think anything can happen russia can create history and go all the way to the semi-finals croatia could choke and you know not win against them. So far, Russia has only been beaten by Uruguay and Spain did not play well against them. They only went it to penalty shootout. But uh, I think um, Croatia might just end their run. 
So I'm going to go England and Croatia to the semifinals. Um, England and Croatia to the semifinals and France and Belgium for the uh, France and Belgium for the other finals there. So um, so uh, pretty much that is the case in the semifinal. Uh, France will meet Belgium and England will meet Croatia. And if I'm going to make a rough prediction, I'm going to say uh, Belgium are going to win over France and England are going to be defeated by Croatia. I think Croatia will go through to the next round, to the finals. Croatia and Belgium might be the final this year. That means this time we're going to have a new champion this year round, which I really hope that this happens because I think, you know, uh, football has improved a lot beyond the usual teams. And this is the World Cup that has not been the best for legendary teams like Germany, like uh, Italy, the normal team. So third place, I think, uh, uh, France and England. I think France get, could win against England for the third place. England will, you know be happy for a fourth place Belgium and Croatia um, as I say if Belgium can beat Brazil they can beat Croatia so Belgium will become champions of the world for the first time ever in Russia that's my prediction but I'm going to make another video uh, during when everything has been sorted out in the finals and uh, because now is the quarterfinals so after the uh, finish the quarterfinals I, I'll, and the semi-finals, I'll post another video. So um, by then we'll actually see whether all this have come true. So uh, that's it. Bye.